So we're on one of four conservation agreements in the uh, Western Sydney area that's managed by Cumberland Land Conservancy. And we all came here today to talk about farm dam enhancement, particularly focusing on frogs and and water birds that use these areas as part of a, a relationship that we've got with Frog ID, Australian Museum, and um, Dr. Matt Herring from Murray Wildlife is here today. It's really heartening seeing this uh, this growing interest in farm dam management. We have so many landholders coming along with photographs on their phones, questions about management, and they go back and actually take action. Um, today we've been walking around visiting different sites that have different types of habitats, different management issues, and we get talking about fox predation and turtle islands and uh, grazing regimes and even fire, earthworks, all, all the things that need to be considered. So I think it's a great opportunity for, for landholders to come together and, and speak to uh, uh, experts in the field and the BCT staff and uh, everyone learns. It's really great to be involved in these BCT field days because it's an opportunity for me to get out there and actually have a look at dams and have a look at kind of what is around in the landscape and how it can be improved for frogs and have that sort of knowledge exchange of uh, what kind of management activities uh, are going on, how dams can be modified, how useful they are for stock and then I can share what might be more useful in terms of creating better frog habitat, how to monitor the dams with the Frog ID app and how we can work together to have dams that are really supporting biodiversity. Obviously my focus is on frogs, but if you've got a dam that's really great frog habitat, then it's likely really great bird habitat, really great everything habitat. And there's some really simple things that you can do to make your dams better. One of the key messages uh, is that these changes that you can make to your farm dam are really simple and they don't cost a lot of money. In fact, they're often free and the results you get are just astounding. The response to the changes you make are huge and you can add all sorts of value um, by thinking about different elements of, of habitat and it's really simple stuff. PCT hold these field days as a, as a way for people to guess you know, to be able to network and to um, communicate with us away from the computer or from the phone and nothing beats it. I mean, we're talking about conservation, we're talking about biodiversity and land management and these, these events get you onto land, get you onto country to look at our theory in action.